ChatGPT is the biggest and most well-known chatbot that we are using. Right now, there's a couple of other tools that are really getting close. There's one that is built on ChatGPT4 that you can use for free, so you don't have to pay for a subscription and you even get some extra features. There's another tool, a competitor from ChatGPT, that honestly is doing pretty nice things. I'm also going to show that and you can also try that on totally for free. So in this video, a couple of free tools that are a lot of fun to try out. So the first tool I wanted to show is huggingface.co slash chat and it's hugging chat and it's making the best open source AI chat models available to everyone. It's just the same as ChatGPT. In the bottom you have a text, on the left you're going to have your, all your chats. And the first thing I want to know is how different is this hugging chat from ChatGPT? So what is the difference between you and ChatGPT? So both ChatGPT4 and Open Assistant are large language models designed for natural language processing tasks such as test generation, a question and answering. But the biggest difference is the data what is trained on. ChatGPT4 is trained on an extensive data set that they put together so ChatGPT4 really learns what they want to know. But Open Assistant is primarily relied on publicly available Wikipedia articles. So what's going to happen is that this chat is more freedom, it is more up to date. Well, ChatGPT gets more updates and more stuff like that. So let's take a look. I'm just going to ask some questions. So here I ask, can you provide a list of five jobs that will be impacted by AI and scale how big the impact will be and why? And here we got five jobs. So data entry clerks have the biggest impact as most data entry tasks will eventually become automated with AI solutions like OCR, optical character recognition. And this is kind of a nice result. I, I'm curious if this tool also can put it in a table. So right now here you see that it just creates a really nice table. So we have the job title, we have the impact level. So it's going to have the biggest, medium, high, medium. And in the right, we're going to have the details why. And this is super nice. It's already working very well and it's totally free. So this looks nice. Creative artists will have none to low the impact. I'm very curious because what we see right now with AI art and the music currently going bigger and bigger. I'm curious if that's really going to have non to low impact, but we will see in the future. But this is the hugging face chat. And now I'm curious if we can see, I'm just going to ask the same question in ChatGPT. And let's see, can you provide the list of five jobs that will be impacted by AI? We kind of get a bit the same. So here, okay, we have data entry clerk. And here we also have data entry clerk, truck drivers. Here also truck drivers. That's pretty crazy that they took, I mean, truck drivers, you wouldn't think about that when you think about AI jobs taking over. I mean, it's pretty crazy that they both grab it. The ChatGPT and the Hugging Chat both grab it. ChatGPT says that for truck driver, it's a high estimated impact. Well, I think there's gonna be a lot of truck drivers still needed. But what did Hugging Chat say? Here is the driver pilot captain. Autonomous vehicles from cars to large transport trucks or drones are gradually becoming a reality. Existing professionals might remain relevant for niche cases. So they kind of have the same ID. I mean, it's pretty good. It works. It's nice. It's free. Really give this a try because it's open source. So it really can give us something that ChatGPT doesn't have yet. It's going to keep growing, keep getting better, all with more data that's going to come in. So this is really nice to keep a look on. The next tool that's fully free, and you can even use ChatGPT4 fully free, so that's really nice. It is this one, is chat.forefront.ai. And here in the top, you can either select 3.5 or 4. But at the heart of Forefront are messages with personas, where you can ask questions, assign tasks, or just chat. So for instance, if I would go to ChatGPT, I can type, what would Steve Jobs think of AI? And then ChatGPT goes in the persona of Steve Jobs. So you have to ask for specific thinking, right? And not with Forefront AI. So here they have some examples. So add Michelin star chef. What's an easy fancy dinner recipe? Or add helpful assistant. Can you explain quantum gravity? And here in the bottom, you see a lot of different personas. So you have Shakespeare, Princess Jasmine, Lara Croft, fitness guru. So you can do add and type the name that you want to ask a question. I want to go for Steve Jobs. And what you can also do is just double click on the name and it just starts here. Hey, Steve Jobs. Hey there, it's great connecting with you. I'm always excited to share my thoughts and experience. And now we get the answer from Steve Jobs in his way of thinking. 
And that's nice that you can really work like that and have a certain specialist, you know, answering you. And with ChatGPT, this is also possible if you really prompt the questions, right? So what does Steve Jobs say? He thinks the creative AI is truly fascinating. It has the potential to revolutionize the way we approach problem solving, design, and even art. So here I have another chat with Superman. So it's super easy to create. But the nice thing is here on the left, you can go to folders and you can do plus add folder. And I can call this conversations. And now I pulled the conversation with Steve Jobs in here and I have this little folder now that has Steve Jobs. So that's quite nice. You can also give it a different emoticon if you want to really give it, maybe there's a computer here, save. And now here you can have all your folders together. It's very nice to have it organized. And you can even do one more thing. You can do hashtag imagine and ask for phone of future. So now we're gonna have some images inside the chat. And here I actually ask Superman, but it's generating an image. So that's how nice it works. And I think this is just a new fun way to talk with personas just like this, you know, and the helpful assistant might be the one that you can use the most because this is like your normal chat. But if you want specific IDs or thoughts, they can always use another persona. But what I'm curious is how does this handle the question I asked before? And that is, can you provide the list of five jobs that will be impacted by AI and scale how big the impact will be and why? So let's see what she says. Here she's gonna give five jobs. If this one has truck drivers, I am shocked because that, oh, there it is. They are all getting this data from the same website. And also, of course, this one is built on ChatGPT, so this makes sense. But that the OpenAI also got this result is kind of special. And here I also have a little table with all the information. So they all work great. And I think right now, Hugging Chat is the most interesting one to try out. It's super new. It's only here since maybe a day or two. So it's really nice to try out. And this one, especially because it's open source, they're gonna have other data than ChatGPT. So I'm super curious to see where it's going. Let's ask for a nice outro. Let's see what it gives. And you see that it's doing some strange things. So I asked it the same question three times and I first got a JSON response. I didn't get any response. Here I got one. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will never miss an update. See you in the next video. And then another one, there are some key takeaways from this tutorial on the Firebase authentication with Spring Boot. It just got this information from another YouTube video, maybe another tutorial and thought it was an outro. So it's not as streamlined as ChatGPT, but in the future it might will be, and it's a lot of fun to try out. So enjoy these tools and please subscribe because I will make a lot more content. Bye.